Welcome back, or welcome to N8VOX, The Everyday Ham. I'm Anthony Gettig, N8VOX, and I just gotta tell you guys what happened last night. Uh, spoiler alert, the future of ham radio is bright. Before I do that though, I do want to extend sincere thanks and gratitude to the guys at Coffee and Ham Radios uh, for the opportunity to be on their live stream this past weekend. Uh, man, that was a whole lot of fun and just, man, it's just really nice for bigger channels to help little channels like mine <laughs> as we're getting launched. So guys, thank you so much. That was really a lot of fun. Let's do it again. And uh, links to their show will be in the show notes on uh, the description below. So what happened last night? My club, the Black River Amateur Radio Club here in Van Buren County, Michigan, it's a club I belong to, great group of people, uh, we were invited to speak to the 4-H Voyager Club of Van Buren County, Michigan, <laughs> and uh, they meet at the Paw Paw Conservation Club, and four of us went out there last night to talk to them about amateur radio. And uh, it was great. Our club president gave a really nice presentation talking about the history of ham radio and and what, what we're doing with it today, what we've done with it in the past, and, and some of the future and whatnot. Kids and parents had great questions. And then I took along my ICOM 705. I had my Wolf River coil outside. And uh, we made some contacts. So big time thanks to the guys on the Michigan Sundown 80 meter net for uh, squeezing us in and talking to the kids. Let me tell you, they were glued to that radio. It was awesome. And, and the, the, the kids, their eyes lit right up. And, and when you talk to them, uh, they were like, wow, they're talking to us. And, and the parents too were like, wow, this is really cool. And then uh, we switched over to two meters and uh, butted into a conversation <laughs> in progress. But I think they kind of knew we were going to break in at some point. Uh, and they were super gracious, the guys in the local repeater, talking to the kids. Um, in fact, uh, one young lady was uh, an avid hunter. And uh, she's like 17. And she uh, talked to a guy on our repeater who is like Mr. Outdoorsman Hunter guy, okay? Uh, Kate JNO. And it was great because he was giving her like great advice and she was telling what he, you know, it was a great time, you guys, just to see youth engaged. And then other kids came up and asked different questions, great questions. And parents were like, wow, this is really great. So much so that it, when it was all said and done, the uh, one of the leaders said, "You know what? Do we do we have a like a junior ham uh, kind of club around here?" We we're like, "No, unfortunately." And they said, "You know what? We need to start one." And I think we're gonna do that. And let me tell you, my heart about skipped a beat when she said that. And the, I'm looking around at the other parents in the room too, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, we need to do that." And the kids are like, "Yeah." So I'm telling you guys, listen, if you have the opportunity to speak to youth. Go do it. Go do it. Show them how fun amateur radio can be. Um, it, it, you know, there's th this really is a hobby of hobbies, right? We talked about talking local, talking regional, talking around the world. Um, Ki8Z brought a whole display of his QSL cards from around the world. Just incredible, um, and the kids were enthralled. And I'll tell you, if you take the time and and engage the young people. They are, they're going to show an interest and their parents will as well. Hey, that's it for this. I just had to share this with you. Sorry, no pictures, no filming because youth is involved and getting releases and all that jazz. It's just, it's way too much for YouTube. Anyways, um, that's it for this episode. Um, I, again, I encourage you to get out there, talk to people, talk to young people and show them this hobby of hobbies called amateur radio. Until next time, take care. God bless. 73. I'm Anthony, N8VOX, the Everyday Ham.